Good morning. Love it. The commencement ceremony for criminal justice, cybersecurity and networking, forensic science, legal studies, leadership, and public administration programs of the School of Justice Studies will now be in order. Please be seated. Good morning, scholars. Wait, wait, I, I guess only a few of you were in my class. Good morning, scholars. There we go, yes. Uh, recently, I was informed that I would be speaking at this event, so naturally, being a good researcher, I went ahead and looked up tips on how to give a proper commencement speech. Keeping in mind that Google is a search engine and not an answer engine. A plethora of tips popped up on what I'm supposed to do here today. For example, turning to our friends from the social sciences in an effort to feel more confident while I speak to you, I should strike a power pose. <laughs> Next, I should dress in a way to feel comfortable. As I'm sure you can imagine, this is something I wear whenever I'm trying to relax around the house. Right? Another common tip is to practice in front of a mirror or in front of a few loved ones. My poor children have heard this speech seven times. <laughs> Obviously, I'm joking. They bailed halfway through the first run. Another common tip on how to give a commencement speech is for us to all consider the past. I read that I was supposed to encourage you to think about the growth that has occurred over the last four or so years. The events, good and bad, that have shaped you. Recall what has taken place during these times. Clearly your experiences while here at Roger Williams earning your degree were impacted by a little thing known as COVID-19. Your educational experiences have been dramatically different than anyone else who has received a degree prior to 2020. You spent time at home. You spent time on Zoom. You watched recorded lectures. We sent you messages through emails, bridges, and posts on RWU webpage regarding the changes to expect and here's how we are going to live moving forward. Two years ago, the upper administration approached the deans and asked them to prepare videos on the expectations of reopening Roger. I'm sure you all remember watching me. I think there was like a 10% open rate on that video. Um, <clears throat> as a side note, I did try and point out to them that some of us deans were better built for radio. Uh, in my message, I spoke to you about the word unprecedented. Unprecedented was being thrown around in 2020 to describe what we were experiencing. We would hear and read over and over that we were living in unprecedented times, that you were experiencing an unprecedented phenomena. Well, today I'm here, I would like for you to consider the word persevere. According to the Oxford Dictionary, 2021, you always want to cite your work, right, scholars? <laughs> to persevere, which is a verb, means to continue on a course of action even in the face of difficulty or with little or no prospect of success. When we returned to campus in the fall of 2020, there was still much that was unknown about the COVID-19 virus. I think we can all agree the unknown is a scary thing. This was just this was not just a, an unknown of whether or not you were going to be able to pass a class or trying to figure out if you were going to get a particular job after graduation. The unknown we were dealing with is, was society going to make it? Were humans going to be able to survive? And in the face of this unknown, in the face of fear that we were all dealing with, you persevered. During these unprecedented times, you continued on a course of action in the face of difficulty and you succeeded. In the cynical world in which we live, negativity is loud. You can hear some, right? 
Hurry up, Dean Bronson. Um, it receives attention. Negativity has tremendous power and reach in our society. All you have to do is look around and you'll see it on the news. Social media, as we know, thrives on it. And negativity is something that is loud. On the other hand, positivity is quiet. At times even looked down upon. Celebrating a positive outcome is often looked down upon. Society will say you need to be humble. Positivity is sprinkled throughout society like a spice that should not be overused. When you watch the evening news, nearly the full show is spent on awful phenomena with a 30 second piece on some kid that raised money for a charity by selling lemonade. I think we can all agree there is there's not enough positivity in this world. I would like to encourage you to celebrate the positivity in your life. This is without a doubt one of those times in your life that you should celebrate. Celebrate that you persevered. Celebrate that you succeeded by continuing on that course of action in the face of difficulty. Celebrate with those in attendance with you, your family and friends. Thank them now. Turn, look, thank your parents, family, friends. Yeah, there you go. And how about thanking this wonderful faculty up here who persevered along with you? Because trust me, they didn't sign up to teach that way either. So that wasn't the experiences they were looking for. In an effort to keep this short, uh, one of the final tips for a proper commencement speech suggested that I read a quote. Staying with the, the theme of persevering, I encourage you to wake up each morning and tell yourself, we are going to attack the day with an enthusiasm unknown to humankind. Congratulations, scholars, you've done it. I would like to ask Professor Trisha Martland to come forward for the presentation of the President's Core Value Medallion honorees. Thank you. The President's Core Values Medallion has been established to recognize graduating seniors who best reflect university core values through distinctive contributions supporting the core purpose of a Roger Williams University education to strengthen society through engaged teaching and learning. It is truly an honor to announce the Core Values Medallion recipients of the class of 2022. And may I just add, I saw one of them for the first time without a mask on this morning. How wonderful. May I introduce Amanda Neff? I'd also like to introduce our at-large recipient, Isaiah Barrientos. These students have exemplified our core values through inclusive, innovative, engaged, experiential, and transformational academic and co-curricular achievement throughout their years. Congratulations to our recipients and their families, friends, and faculty. Next, I would like to ask Ms. Madison Birdie to the podium to deliver the 2022 School of Justice Studies student commencement speech. Maddie. All right. 
Good afternoon, family, friends, faculty, and fellow graduates. I'm honored to be standing here today as a reflector of what the School of Justice Studies Department has accomplished these past four years through all of our hard work, dedication, and commitment to better the university, the justice system, and overall society. I want to start off by recognizing the profound dedication every single student sitting here today has exhibited in completing their degrees. Personally, being a first-generation college student has allowed me to explore the many trials and tribulations that college has to offer. Even with the passing difficulties of trying to figure out what it means to be a college student, the School of Justice Studies has transformed my experience by educating me in a proper way. These experiences, whether personal or academic, have influenced the way I view my place in the system, and I'm hopeful that every person sitting here today feels the same. I believe that every individual is here to better the justice system in the lives of those impacted by the system. Whether it's as a forensic scientist developing new ways to analyze DNA for exonerations, a police officer giving up their family lives to work overtime, a cybersecurity analyst protecting data and information important to the security of our country, an attorney protecting individuals' alienable rights, or even a victim advocate serving as a protector of victims within the justice system. Let's also not forget about the ROTC students that are headed out into the military where they will protect and serve our country so we have the freedom to live our lives. Shout out, Lexi. <laughs> yeah. The legal definition of justice says, justice is the fairness, moral rightness, and a scheme or system of law in which every person receives his, her, its due from the system, including all rights, both natural and legal. Sorry, Bronson, I didn't cite this. <laughs> <laughs> now, we must think to ourselves, what does justice mean to us as educated individuals? What is our role and responsibilities to ensure justice for those that do not have the capability or means to warrant justice for themselves? Throughout our academic journey here at Roger Williams University, we are now ready and able to apply these ethics and lessons that we have learned towards issues prevalent in our country's justice system. As the next upcoming generation of justice advocates, it is our job to, learn our knowledge, to use our learned knowledge and fix these issues for the better of our system as a whole. With the knowledge we have gained in regards to these ethics, it has also pressured us to address the gray areas within the field. It begs us to question the law in order to improve the justice system. While many people believe the law is black and white, I'm here to tell you it is not. Over the next few years, you all will encounter scenarios in which you will have an immense amount of discretion in order to control an issue. Eventually, you will all have to make decisions that you may be uncomfortable with. You will engage in conversations that you never thought you would have to be a part of. Therefore, I say this with confidence. Roger Williams University School of Justice Studies has provided us with the cognizance, knowledge, and wisdom to approach the justice system with apprehension to progress towards a superior system that benefits all of those impacted by cell. Now, as I reflect on the stage of my life where my undergraduate degree has come to an end, I accept that I still don't know what I want to do. I do know that I am prepared to face the reality of the lessons that we have learned the past four years. I'm sure many of you would agree with me that this is the most difficult part of the college experience. We get told to go to college, but we rarely know what our next steps are. I'm here to say that it's okay not to know. With this degree, we will all explore different opportunities that the justice system has to offer. We will live and we will succeed. I want to end with a quote from Ruth Bader Ginsburg that emphasizes our part in the justice system as we continue to learn, change, and progress towards our hopes of an exceptional society. We live in an age in which the fundamental principles to which we subscribe, liberty, equality, and justice for all, are encountering extraordinary challenges. But it is also an age in which we can join hands with others who hold to those principles and face similar challenges. With this being said, I would like to wish you all luck in your future endeavors. Congratulations to the tw 2022 Class of Justice Studies. Thank you, Maddie. Uh, I, I do want to point out, though, I, when, you, when you got to that point in your speech where uh, you said you still aren't sure what you want to do, you, you remember that part? I, I looked at your family, and the, the total looks of terror. <laughs> uh, 
We now proceed to the chief purpose of these commencement exercises, the conferring of academic degrees upon the class of 2022. Our undergraduate students today wear a hood signifying their graduation with their bachelor's degree and permanent connection to Roger Williams University com community. These hoods bear the RWU colors of white and light blue. Students receiving their master's degree today will be hooded by a member of the school faculty as they process for their degrees. The formal hooding of students receiving advanced degrees in a centuries old practice and signifies students' achievements in their chosen field of study. Master students' hoods include wide velvet bands in the color denoting the academic area in which their degree is held. We would like to also acknowledge those students who have the distinction of graduating with honors. Would all students graduating cum laude with a cumulative GPA of 3.4 please stand if you are able. Will all the students graduating magna cum laude with a cumulative GPA of 3.6, please stand if you are able to be acknowledged. <laughs> Finally, will the students graduating summa cum laude with a cumulative GPA 3.8, please stand to be congratulated. Your hard work and commitment to academic excellence are to be commended and we are proud of all of your accomplish accomplishments. We will now begin the conferral of degrees. Will the School of Justice Studies candidates please rise? Just like we practice, great. Yeah. <laughs> I am pleased to certify that these candidates are eligible for the degrees appropriate to their course of study by the virtue of the authority granted by the state of Rhode Island and delegated by, to the president by the board of trustees, we confer upon you the degree to which you are entitled with all the rights and privileges pertaining to the, thereto. Will the candidates please come forward? Stephanie Marie Jimenez, Master of Science, Criminal Justice. Matthew David Thompson, Master of Science, Criminal Justice, 4 Plus 1 Program. Nicholas David Polinski, Master of Science, Criminal Justice, 4 Plus 1 Program. Anya Gabrielle Bornstein, Master of Science, Criminal Justice. Mia Salerno, Master of Science, Criminal Justice 4 Plus 1 Program. Kelsey Lynn Poisant, Master of Science, Criminal Justice. Yeah, Cal. 
Emily Botello, Master of Science, Criminal Justice 4 plus 1. Samantha Marie Mancinelli, Master of Science, Criminal Justice. <laughs> Jonathan Warden, Master of Science, Criminal Justice. Jennifer Delafred, Master of Science, Criminal Justice. Austin James Cloutier, Master of Science, Cybersecurity. Sean Christopher Pulver, Master of Science, Cybersecurity. <laughs> Elijah A. Korzik, Master of Arts, Juris Doctor, Cybersecurity. Casey A. Boschman, Master of Science, Leadership. <laughs> Bradley S. Brown, Master of Science, Leadership. Stephen M. Lolibity, Master of Science, Leadership. <laughs> Alexander Matthew Lucini, Master of Science, Leadership. Mary Rosina Santoro, Master of Science Leadership. <laughs> Tracy Michelle Pratt, Master of Science Leadership. N. Corninger, Master of Public Administration.
Bryce Philip Johnson, Master of Public Administration. Tyler M. Smith, Master of Public Administration. <laughs> Paul Glenn Vario, Master of Public Administration. Christina G. Almeida, Master of Public Administration. <laughs> Helena P. Montero Silva, Master of Public Administration. Janice L. Silver, Master of Public Administration. Thank you. Another photo. <laughs> Wendy Hawk Adamo, Master of Public Administration. Heather Kinsey Trotman, Master of Public Administration. <laughs> Kimberly May Tebow, Master of Public Administration. Now we're going to move on to our undergraduates. Madison Taylor Birdie, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. <laughs> Catherine Teresa Bossi, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice and Psychology. <laughs> Nicole Julia Norton, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice and Psychology. Andrew Jared DeClement, yeah. Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Yeah. Abigail Madon Smalley, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Yeah. Katrina Genevieve Garrity, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice and Psychology. Madeline Holland Duggan, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, Magna Cum Laude. Nathan Joshua Douglas, Bachelor of Science, Cybersecurity and Networking.
James Elliott Shapiro, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, Cum Laude. Lemire. <laughs> Tyler Lemire, Bachelor of Science, Cybersecurity and Networking, Magna Cum Laude. Grace Viamato, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, Summa Cum Laude. <laughs> Bennett William Flanagan, Bachelor of Science, Legal Studies and Political Science, Summa Cum Laude. <laughs> Casey Dean Litchford, Bachelor of Science, Cybersecurity and Networking, Summa Cum Laude. Jake Joseph Malatesta, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. <laughs> Thomas Leo Myers, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. <laughs> Kayla Ann Ferrante, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, Summa Cum Laude. Samantha Jane Poland, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, Cum Laude. Mark Anthony Brochu, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, Cum Laude. David Manuel Marshall, Jr., Bachelor of Science, Cum Criminal Justice, Magna Cum Laude. Edward John Gogan, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. <laughs> Katie Ann Dever, Bachelor of Science, Legal Studies and Psychology, Cum Laude. <laughs> Noah George Leolis, Bachelor of Science, Legal Studies and Psychology. Zachary Collins, Bachelor of Science, Cybersecurity and Networking. <laughs> Peter Joseph Frost, Bachelor of Science, Cybersecurity and Networking, Cum Laude. <laughs> Stephen Anthony Fume, Bachelor of Science, Cybersecurity and Networking. Tyler John Brewer, Bachelor of Science, Cybersecurity and Networking. <laughs> William Joseph Marta, Bachelor of Science, Cybersecurity and Networking. <laughs> Hi Van Lee, Bachelor of Science, Cybersecurity and Networking, Summa Cum Laude. Allison Jean Coots, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, Psychology, Magna Cum Laude. <laughs> Bethany R. Gartner, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. <laughs> Jacob Wright Belzarini, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, Magna Cum Laude. Daniel P. Griffiths, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. <laughs> Patrick James Nagel, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. <laughs> Jonathan John Walter Whittison, Bachelor of Science, Legal Studies and Philosophy. Vincent Eric Granda, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. <laughs> Jonathan T. Canney, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. <laughs> Andrew James Dawson, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. <laughs> Cassidy Lynn Donnellan, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Zachary M. Domian, Bachelor of Science, Legal Studies and Public Relations. 
Tegan David Welch, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Kyle Robert Kaiser, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Megan Colleen McNally, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Madison A. Medina, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Julia Grace Schmidt Hoagland, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice and Psychology. Alexander Renee Welch, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, Psychology, Magna Cum Laude. Sarah Rose Jamros, Bachelor of Science, Legal Studies and Psychology, Magna Cum Laude. Noah Timothy Allen Morbido, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, Summa Cum Laude. Jaden Michael Joseph Baker da Costa, Bachelor of Science, Forensic Science. Emily Mackenzie Murray, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Caitlin Ann Carboni, Bachelor of Science, Cybersecurity and Networking. Stephanie Victoria Dos Santos Borba, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Gianna Nickerson, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Talia Mitchell, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Erica Taylor Short, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Savannah F. Bonofsky, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, Summa Cum Laude. <laughs> Haley Mendez, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. <laughs> Prashant Anand Kavali, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Megan Ellsworth, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, Cum Laude. Madison Alexandria King, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Alexis Violet Field, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, Cum Laude. Andrew Zapatella, Zampatella, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Yeah. Louis John Fasaro III, Bachelor of Science, Legal Studies and History. Hoorah. Owen Peter Musso, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, Psychology, Summa Cum Laude. Ashlyn Caton Whittier, Bachelor of Science, Forensic Science, Summa Cum Laude. <laughs> Ryan Adam Burt, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. <laughs> Jack Gregory Lambros, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Simonin. Emily Simonin, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Natalie Marie Hinton, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Kirk Hansen Schultz, Bachelor of Science, Forensic Science. Bridget Marie Mary Woods, Bachelor of Science, Forensic Science. Andrew J. Skempris, Bachelor of Science, Forensic Science and Public Health, Cum Laude. Cameron James Quinn, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Correct. 
Emily Ruth DeVarkis, Bachelor of Science, Forensic Science, Cum Laude. Austin Botello Cabral, Bachelor of Science, Legal Studies and Political Science, Magna Cum Laude. <laughs> Elena May Vantine, Bachelor of Science, Legal Studies and Political Science, Summa Cum Laude. <laughs> Lauren Elizabeth Hyder, Bachelor of Science, Legal Studies and Political Science. Erica Marie Bertel, Bachelor of Science, Legal Studies and Political Science. Jordan Keating Cotis, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, Psychology, Magna uh, Cum Laude. Daniel Joseph Martin, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Kara Bryn Garrett, Bachelor of Science, Forensic Science. Michelle Elise Correa, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, Cum Laude. Priscilla Cristobal Maracuin, Bachelor of Science, Forensic Science, Cum Laude. Walter Monroe Friedrich, Bachelor of Science, Cybersecurity and Networking. <laughs> Jessica Ann Costello, Bachelor of Science, Forensic Science. <laughs> Yuko Nozaki, Bachelor of Science, Forensic Science. Deja M. Bishop, Bachelor of Science, Legal Studies, Communication and Media Studies, Magna Cum Laude. Meg Mercury, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, Cum Laude. Katerina Angelic Teodosio, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, Cum Laude. Amanda Ashwin Neff, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, Theater, Summa Cum Laude. Alexander Ivan Sanchez, Bachelor of Science, Legal Studies, English Literature, Magna Cum Laude. <laughs> Becca Ann McClellan, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, Foreign Language, Cum Laude. Caitlin Emily Wright, Bachelor of Science, Legal Studies, English, Summa Cum Laude. Very loudy. Autumn Indigo Birches, Bachelor of Science, Legal Studies, and Political Science, Cum Laude. John Manning, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, Cum Laude. Isaiah Aaron Bayaretos. Bachelor of Science, Legal Studies, Political Science, Summa Cum Laude. Marcos Antonio Mazza, Jr., Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Sure. Roberto Sabatino Cucci, Bachelor of Science, Legal Studies, and Foreign Language. Michael N. Calandro, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Yeah! Kayla E. Natello, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, Cum Laude. Yeah! Just all day. Just all day. <laughs> Emma Just all day, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, Magna Cum Laude. Blair Angelica Chila, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. <laughs> Caroline Veronica Negron, Bachelor of Science, Forensic Science, Cum Laude.
Kyle Edward Rocha, Bachelor of Science, Forensic Science. <laughs> Alexis Ayana Ui, Bachelor of Science, Forensic Science, Cum Laude. <laughs> Christian Thomas, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Trinity Marie Potter, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. <laughs> Maria A. Tarara, Bachelor of Science, Legal Studies, Psychology, Cum Laude. <laughs> Salvami Alfonso, Bachelor of Science, Legal Studies, English Literature, Magna Cum Laude. Zayla Yanis Howie, Bachelor of Science, Legal Studies, Anthropology. <laughs> Catalina M. Jimenez, Bachelor of Science, Forensic Science. <laughs> Tasha Jackson, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Congratulations, scholars. Just one little thing before we uh, decide to head out. We have to make sure we take care of social media, right? And for all of you who happen to be looking for a potential stitch on TikTok, if you find that little video of Amber, my dog was stung by a bee. Just remember, it took you four years to get your degree. You're all set to go. All right, on behalf of the university, thank you all for joining us here today and celebrating commencement exercises. Please stand and remain at your seats until all the members of the recessional, including the graduates, have ex exited the tent. Congratulations once again. Thank you.